I want to talk to you about Southwest Rapid Rewards, and uh, I want to give you everything you need to know about the this the Travel Rewards program this year. So here's the approach I want you to think about. When you think about Southwest Rapid Rewards, I want you to think about first the airlines, all right? This is uh, the airline that you have to be uh, actually affiliated with. You have to love Southwest. So Southwest Airlines does things a little differently than uh, other airlines, that's for sure. And so the thing is that when if you go with the Southwest Airlines, there is no assigned seating. It's a base fare. It's called a wanna get away, and its staff are known for reading jokes and poetry over the intercom. So it's one of those things where you have to really. Uh, it's not just about embracing a, re a rewards program. It's also embracing a certain lifestyle when it comes to traveling. Okay, so you have to really love that. So before you actually think about. Maybe uh, getting to a Southwest Rapid Rewards, you have to really love the lifestyle, the traveling, uh, everything around this edge, this airlines. So the airline's dedication to a uh, non-conformity spills over to uh, its loyalty rewards program too. So as competing programs start to blend together, Rapid Rewards stands out even more with its unique tiers, rewards, and most notably the Companion Pass Super Perk you unlock after taking 100 flights or earning 135,000 rapid rewards points. I will speak about the uh, super perk sort of uh, later on, but it's important because see, when you think about Southwest, I want you to think about different, but different doesn't always mean superior. By the way, there are several ways in, in which uh, rapid rewards falls short of its uh, more orthodox contemporaries, most notably in terms of uh, flexibility and also flight options. So it's one of those things where if you are thinking about the uh, rapid rewards, you have to think about a lifestyle in, when it comes to traveling, but you have to also think about having a, a specific sort of uh, goals. So what is or what are rapid rewards? So Southwest uh, Rapid Rewards actually is the airline's lo loyalty rewards program. It's actually free to join. And as soon as you do, you will start earning points on every booking made directly with Southwest, okay? So that's kind of cool. And your points will also uh, help you reach high status. So Rapid Rewards has two status tiers, A-list and uh, A-list preferred, and also a final uh, super perk that you will unlock at 100 flight segments. In other words, 135,000 uh, uh, points. Although Rapid Rewards endearingly, is endearingly simple and appropriately uh, quirky, the program does come with uh, some serious drawbacks. So I, I want to talk about that little one. I want to quickly do a, a quick uh, like a pro and cons when it comes to this program. So let me talk to you about Rapid Rewards pros and cons this year. So the pros first, so, so that we have a clear idea of what we're speaking about. So when it comes to the pluses, base fare tickets, AKA want to get away, still earn a solid 6x points so but then you have to really uh book this directly through the the airline okay 6x points and uh the highest tier unlocks a companion pass which allows you to have uh to have a dedicated plus one to fly for free with uh with you all year long so that's kind of cool in terms of affordability but also flexibility and the cool thing about another the cool thing about uh rapid rewards is that you can reach new status tiers by earning enough flight segments or points. So from and you can earn uh, those points real fast as well. Also, uh, points do not expire, and uh, there are no blackout dates. I mean, unlike uh, some uh, some uh, competitive uh, rewards program, uh, travel rewards program, here with uh, Southwest, you do not have any uh, blackout dates. So that's really fantastic. What about the cons here? So th those are were. Uh, those were a non-exhaustive list of, of the pros. What about the cons here? Let's talk about it. So you cannot earn or spend points with uh, partner airlines since Southwest doesn't have any. I mean, right now they don't have any uh, partner airlines. So this is a little, this is a little disappointing, really, when you think about it. And you will need 20 flight segments or 35,000 tier qualifying points (TQP) to reach your first status tier which is a relatively uh, long trek when you think about it. So it just means you have to commit to uh, Southwest for a long, long, long period of time before you can start actually uh, seeing some results or some uh, benefits. 
And also another uh, drawback to really keep in mind this year is that Southwest has uh, limited destinations and doesn't fly outside of the Western Hemisphere. So if you want to go beyond the Western Hemisphere, you could be uh, limited, especially uh, if you, let's say you want to go to Africa or you want to go to Asia or you want to go to uh, certain countries, certain quote unquote exotic destinations, Southwest is not going to uh, be uh, your ideal, let's say, uh, airline in that department. Let me talk to you now about rapid rewards points, okay? And so you have, uh, so I want to explain in depth what the points really are. So Southwest Rapid Rewards has, uh, as I, say, I think I said this before, has uh, two types of points to uh, track. You have the Rapid Rewards points, and then you have the Rapid Rewards tier qualifying points, the TQP. Let's first talk about the, the uh, Rapid Rewards points. So those are the uh, foundational uh, currency of the program. And what happens here is that you will earn them by booking flights using your Southwest branded credit card and through the uh, various other methods listed uh, that I will list, it, I'll list very soon, okay? And you can redeem, actually, you can redeem them for airfare, gift cards, and more. So that's really fantastic. So what about the Rapid Rewards TQP? Those are Rapid Rewards points that actually count towards your next status level. And TQP or any Rapid Rewards points that were not purchased, transferred, or gifted, earned from a program or a credit card enrollment. I'm going to put this on the screen, by the way, okay? So, uh, basically, you have uh, purchased, transferred, or gifted, earned from a credit from program or credit card enrollment, earned from a tier bonus, for example, 25% at uh, a list preferred so this is uh, actually uh, this is uh, pretty interesting and also earned from reward travel and there are actually uh, more exceptions that are listed on the company website okay now let me talk to you about the uh, obvious question how can you maximize your uh, rapid rewards points this year it really depends it, it depends on uh, the uh, the lifestyle you have it depends on the relationship that you have with uh, southwest it depends on the destinations you want to go to and it depends also on the time horizon because like i said it's one of those things where you got to really uh book those uh those flights do during a certain time frame but i'll explain to you uh way more how do you earn rapid rewards points this year and how to do so uh strategically because you got to have a strategy in place to make sure that you can maximize those points so how do you earn rapid rewards points this year? Well, Southwest offers uh, four primary ways to uh, generate rapid rewards points. So you have a uh, booking Southwest flights using a Southwest branded credit card. You have a uh, staying at one of a uh, Southwest six, six hotel partners. So the six hotel partners uh, include Southwest hotels. You have Best Western, Choice Hotels, World of Hyatt, Merit Bonvoy and MGM Rewards. So those are the six hotel partners that uh, Southwest actually has this year. So th that's the number three, okay? Number one, booking a Southwest uh, flight using a, a Southwest branded credit card. Number three, staying at one of Southwest six hotel partners. And number four, booking a rental car with one of Southwest eight rental car partners. So the eight rental car partners include Alamo, you have Avis, Budget, Dollar, Hertz, National, Payless, and Thrifty. So that's really uh, that's really uh, the ecosystem you have to navigate within to actually earn points. You can also uh, generate a trickle of points by shopping with uh, Southwest retail partners, taking surveys in, and in some states by simply paying your energy uh, energy electric bill. Okay, but the cool thing is that. For the most part, and this is important to really mention here, for the most part, you will probably be generating the bulk of your points through uh, flights, hotels, and rental cars. So before making plans, be sure to check out Southwest current partner promos too, because uh, you might have actually uh, an easy uh, points booster. You never know, okay? And uh, as for uh, earning rates, you when you book a flight with uh, Southwest, the amount of points you would you earn will depend on two things, your fare type 
and your current Southwest uh, Rapid Rewards uh, tier. So those are the two elements. So when I speak about your fair tap, want to get away 6x, anytime 10x, and business select 12x. And your current uh, Southwest Rapid Rewards tier, A-list, you have 25% multiplier, and uh, A-list preferred, 100% multiplier. So that's really uh, that's really uh, cool, especially from a flexibility point of view. So if you are, let's say, a non-A-lister booking a want to get away ticket with a base fare of $100, you will earn 600 Rapid Rewards points. But if you book the same ticket at the anytime fare level as an A-lister, you will earn 100 dollars times 10x plus 25 percent and that's 1250 points so this is important let me talk to you now about the uh, points redemption so when you think about the uh, southwest rapid rewards you have actually though you can you have ways to uh, earn the points that's what i just explained to you but you have ways also to redeem those points okay and southwest allows you to redeem your hard-earned points for, for the following you have a, a lot of flexibility but the thing is that uh when it comes to a uh, point redemption it's just a lot better to have a strategy okay and th this goes back to what i said a little earlier in terms of having a strategy in terms of redemption but also also uh, how do you actually accumulate point over over time so you can actually uh, redeem your hard earned points for uh, let's say flights on southwest for sure hotels so hotels but it's just a lot better if you go through a hotel that's partnering with uh, Southwest. You can also uh, redeem uh, your hard-earned points for uh, rental cars. Again, it's just a lot better if you go to the to the six to the eight eight uh, rental agency uh, partners that I just spoke to you a little earlier. You can also uh, redeem the, your your points for cruises, for gift cars to uh, various retail partners. So, for instance, you have Zappos, you have Bass Pro Shops, among others. If you need more, if you need more uh, information about uh, those uh, partners, retail partners, let us know in the comment section, and we'll certainly get back to you. You can also uh, redeem those for activities. So, for instance, CMA Awards tickets or TSA pre-check application fees. So, this is really good. Travel insurance. That's also uh, another possibility, and and more. Okay, but. Per usual, the exchange rate massively uh, favors airfare over uh, anything else. The consensus pins the value of a single rapid rewards point to around 1.4 cents when redeemed for flights, meaning that a $100 base fare may only cost you around 7,200 points to book. And the alternative is to spend 9,400 points on a $50 uh, dollar cracker barrel gift cards and uh, as much as uh, we love chicken and dumplings, that just doesn't make any sense this year. So despite the wide area of redemption options, your best option is to just save your points for more Southwest flights. Let me talk to you about earning and redeeming with Rapid Rewards Partners. I'm still, I'm still talking to you about Southwest Rapid Rewards, the travel reward uh, program. And the thing is that uh, when you think about actually uh, earning through the partner the, through the partners, this is actually uh, the best part because you are able to uh, earn extra Southwest points by flying with uh, One World, Star Alliance, or another partner network. Okay, but uh, one of uh, Southwest many many quirks is that it doesn't actually uh, have any uh, partner airlines. So the only way to earn miles in the sky is on a Southwest flight. Okay. That's what I that's what I said to you a little earlier when I said you got to have a, an affiliation or a love for Southwest if you go th through the Southwest uh, Rapid Rewards program. So Southwest does mention international flights operated by other airlines as a possible redemption option via the more rewards program. But the redemption rates are much lower than what you can expect when redeeming for a Southwest a Southwest flight. OK. So the fact that you can only uh, earn Southwest points and status on Southwest flights is uh, objectively, if you want to think about it, a big drawback to the program, especially when you compare it to uh, competitive uh, competitive travel programs. So let me give you, for a point of co comparison, when you fly with uh, one of United 33 partner airlines, you will be earning both miles and status through uh, United's loyalty program, 
mileage plus i actually just i finished uh, like a couple of uh, days ago a review of uh, the mileage plus program so but the thing is that southwest wants you to prove your lo your loyalty to them and them alone so at a very high level we can't really say that uh, we blame them either way let's let's see what the airline has to offer you in return for your dedication okay so let me really talk to you about the uh, rapid reward status so as expected for a, quir a quirky um, airline southwest does the status a little differently so the first two tiers are pretty straightforward at 20 flight segments or 35,000 tqp you will reach the a-list tier which unlocks priority boarding a 25 percent earning bonus same day uh, change that standby and priority lane express lane check-in once you hit 40 segments or 70,000 tqp you will reach a list preferred which really unlocks free in-flight internet a dedicated support phone line 100 percent uh, earnings bonus and up to uh, two complimentary premium drinks on flights 175 176 miles or longer okay and so that's that's really interesting especially if you want to accumulate the uh, let's say uh, flights really fast now is it worth the effort to attain rapid reward status well if you and your friend wife colleague bodyguard or already flying southwest several times a month it's absolutely worth the effort to try to unlock that companion pass for next year well, because uh it, it, you have all the uh, all the possibilities there So when you think about Southwest uh, Rapid Rewards, you do have rivals. I think I've been talking to you uh, about those rivals all throughout this show. And uh, the thing is that, uh, you know, and why should you be thinking about rivals? Well, simply because the biggest drawback to a Southwest Rapid Rewards program is actually its lack of partner airlines. So United Mileage Plus has 33. Delta Sky Miles has 25. South Southwest has a bagel, not a zilch, nothing. Okay, so even if you have, let's say, uh, 10 million or 1 billion rapid rewards points, they won't do much good if you have to fly somewhere Southwest doesn't reach, including Wyoming, the, the Dakotas, or anywhere outside of the Western Hemisphere. So this is actually a big bummer, a big, big, big bummer. So the, the other uh, comparative drawback is that to uh, rapid rewards is actually the lengthy trek to its first status tier you will need 20 flight segments or 35,000 tqp to reach uh, a list whereas uh, united actually and uh, alaska will uh, grace you with a uh, silver equivalent status in as few as 12 segments 20,000 points respectively so this is really um really really comparatively uh, comparatively different and uh but all that being said you could make a reasonable argument that Rapid Rewards is not in, com in competition with those programs to begin with. It's a niche program for Southwest fans, only that's both unique and rewarding in its own way. So still a little competitive analysis gets to show that Southwest isn't being stingy compared to other airlines. Quite the contrary, Rapid Rewards exudes the best quality uh, of the airline itself, simple, great value and the perfect amount of quirkiness so it is what if you like that if you like this trifecta then go for uh go for southwest rapid rewards so in conclusion to this conversation i spoke to you about southwest rapid rewards i give you the approach the evaluation the rapid rewards points the rivals and the conclusion thank you so much god bless you i'll see you next time until then remember stay marvelous